Hello everyone, in this video I'll be going over how to modify Vim. Notice that my Vim window, I have all these things. I have I have clear indents of three spaces. If I tap over, write something, press enter, the next the new line will stay at the tab that I was at. So if I do tab three times, write something, the tab will still stay there. That's because Vim lets you modify uh, how Vim works. So I do colon. Notice in the left hand corner of my Vim window, a colon is displayed with the cursor waiting for me to input something. If I input set no number, notice that all the line numbers are gone now. If I close this window, however, we open it up, the line numbers are still there. That's because any modification to the Vim window within the Vim window itself will only affect the, the current Vim window that you are in. To make changes global, we have to access the VimRC file. The syntax for this is vim tilde backslash dot vimrc. So vim tilde backslash dot vimrc. So if I press enter, Notice that I have these four commands that are here. Let me go over them. The first line says set tab stop to equal three. So I'll start insert and I'll press tab. Notice that my tab went over three spaces. Now, if I was to go to line one, delete this command, save the file, reopen it, and I, and I tab over again, notice that the tabs are a lot larger. The next one I just went over, it's, it's the opposite of set num no number, which is set number, which sets the line numbers for the Vim. The third line is really important to me. So notice when I do, when I write some text and I press enter, it's still on the left side. But if I tab once, enter some text, press enter again, this tab stop still remains on the new line. That's because of set auto indent. It auto indents for you when you press enter or create a new line from a line that was indented. I'll show you an example for the fourth line. Fourth line says, I know remap with a bunch of characters. Let me show you what those characters mean. So if I press insert, I open up a left curly brace, a right curly brace is immediately opened right next to it. That's what the command on line four does. It takes, um, basically the, the structure of it is whenever this is typed, when in insert mode, this will be created. I can change this to anything I want. So, so let me save this, reopen it. These changes won't take effect unless you close Vim and then reopen it. And you have to save the file and then close any Vim window that's currently open and reopen it. So after that, the changes will take place. So now if I do parentheses, then the right parentheses is immediately open. Again, I can I can change this to left from with whenever I open a left bracket to be able to open a left and right bracket. It's immediately opening opening a right bracket. Now there are a bunch of other commands that you can look up. There is almost an infinite amount. There's a multitude of possibilities. Like my professor showed me his VimRC file and it's like a hundred lines long. As you can see before at the beginning of the video, mine was only four. So it's very customizable to your own liking. You can change almost everything. It's it's for your choosing. Um, so go look it up, see what you want to do to your Vim. And uh, thank you for watching.